Okay, so a lot of times I get a comment that spreads all the way across this field. And so I have copied a little uh, section from a website uh, from SUU Arts Administration Program. So if I copy and paste all of this in there, um, you see that I have this huge list that I have to read through and it makes it kind of difficult in Excel to read through that. You can see I've got A um, as a shortened cell and G as a shortened cell. So kind of what I'm working with is within this range here. And so what we're gonna do is learn how to um, merge and wrap text so that it fits into one piece like this. I'm gonna do it two different ways so you can see the different ways to do it. I'm gonna start with my preference. And my preference would be to just expand the width of this row here that our data is in um, and merge all of these cells here together. Okay, so let's start with that. So I'm gonna highlight these cells that I wanna merge. And on my home toolbar under the alignment ribbon, I see this merge and center. I'm just gonna say merge across. We have all these different options because I don't want to center I want it to still be left justified. And you'll notice that here it is aligned to the bottom. And I'll leave that there for a second so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that we have that, it cuts us off at Southern. And so what we need to do is get the rest of this that we can see exists, but don't see where it is here. So also on the same ribbon right above Merge and Center is a wrap text. And all that does is exactly what this pop-up box shows. It drops some of the wording into another line and expands the cell. So if I click this, you'll notice that that South SOUT went away. Um, and now as I drag this down, you can see that we have more. Now the problem is that I don't get a full picture. I think that's because I'm bottom justified. So if we open this up more, Okay, we have everything, and if I drag it a little bit less, you see that I see the bottom, but I don't see the top that we started with. So I also want to change this alignment, in this case, to be top. So I want top justified and left justified, and then I can expand that cell to fit my text. Now in column three, we have a height of 15 with 20 pixels. Column two, we have a height of 125.25 with 167 pixels. So all we've done is expanded the height of this, and then we've combined B, C, D, E, and F2 to where now Excel is reading that as B2. If we come over here in H2 and just say equals this, we get B2, okay? So that's one way to do that. I'm gonna copy this and do it one other way now. So if I put the same information in here, now instead of copying it um, into this one piece, we're still gonna do the merge, in, merge across the same way. But now instead of um, putting it in one cell, B2, I'm gonna put it in all of these cells. Oops. I'm gonna put it in all of these cells. Let me close this just a little bit. Okay, so instead of merging there, I'm gonna merge and center all of these cells. And I'm gonna wrap text. And then again, for me, I'm gonna change my justification. And so now you can see that I've taken B4, C4, D4, E4, F4, and the same thing for five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to 12 and turned all of that section into one cell. So again, if I come here, now all of that is B4. You can see I still have A7 and B7. So I still have the stuff on the side, but I have this big gap in between, okay? So here are your two ways to do a merge and a center in Excel. Hope this is useful, hope you enjoy it. Have a good evening.